man has been indicted on charges of carrying out a series of kidnappings and sexual assaults on six victims. Tonight, Phoenix police are asking for your help. They believe there's at least one more victim out there. Jamie has been monitor monitoring the briefing with police and the county attorney. What do we know so far about the suspect? Uh, yeah, we are learning he is dangerous. He is accused of attacking seven victims violently, and we know this man is in police custody. So let's take a look at this guy. This is his mugshot right here. At a news conference today, Phoenix Police, along with Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell, told us a grand jury indicted 25-year-old Tyler Mangia of Phoenix. This is him on April 18th. He is facing 59 felony charges. They include 38 counts of sexual assault, six counts of kidnapping, six counts of aggravated assault, and nine counts of sexual abuse. The attacks all happening in Phoenix. Police have six known victims so far between the months of October of 2021 and June of 2022. Mangia has been in jail since last June, and police say they are looking for one more victim. We have a seventh victim that we want to make sure that she's okay, and we want to check welfare on her. The only thing that we have on her at this point, and you, you all will receive or have received the bulletin, um, are two necklaces that she's wearing. Uh, one that says angel and another one that has a charm or pendant ring type uh, type style. Okay, come on over to your TVs if you aren't already. Take a look. This is a look at some of the necklaces that were left behind, police say, by that seventh victim. They say the woman may also have red hair or wear a red wig. Police want any information that you may have about the seventh victim. They want you to reach out to them, Silent Witness, 480 Witness. They want to talk to that victim, see how she is doing, what resources she may need, and if she'll want to press charges. And Jamie, do we know the ages of the victims or if they had anything in common? We know that first victim that was reported, that was a 22-year-old female. We're told the other victims were in the same age range, but police have not released any similarities. They have just said that they have video evidence that linked this guy to these crimes. Back to you. Jamie, thank you for the update.